The two paths that we've been editing for the cycle routes were originally drawn with the pen tool because of the complexity of those shapes. It is possible, however, to draw straight lines with something called the line segment tool. So I'm just going to click on the window on the left hand side. I'll go to view and I'll choose fit artboard in window. And then I'll click on the right hand window and I'll do the same view and then fit artboard in window. With my zoom tool active, I'm actually just going to zoom into this area just around here so I can see again a holistic view of that region. And then in the other window, I'll click and drag much closer into this one so we can see again some of the properties for the stroke that we're going to apply. I'm going to go to my tools panel and then just underneath the type tool, I'll click and hold down where we have our line segment tools. And the default one is, of course, the line segment tool, as you can see here. You can reach that one with the back slash key on the keyboard. That's the only one that does have a keyboard shortcut, as you can see from here. Now, I'll left click on that. I want to create the effect of like a pin to indicate off-road parking for cyclists as well along where this route is. So I'm going to hover my cursor just around about here. I'm going to click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and then drag from here down closer to where the road is on the map and let go. Now you'll see that it's remembered the properties, first of all, of the previous path that we made. So I'll change that now and I'm going to change the color of this to black. Press return. I'll then go to the options here and then I will set this to uh, the same stroke weight, but I'm going to turn off the dash line and then we get this solid line in here. I will keep the rounded end but I'm going to change the arrowhead start in here. I'm going to scroll down the list and choose arrowhead 24. Now that will be really big. So the first thing we can do is you can actually push the arrowheads outside of the path. By default, the arrowheads have to fit between where the two anchor points are. But if I change the align option in here to be extend arrow tip beyond end of path, then it moves it higher up like so. Having done that, and I might choose to just make that a little bit smaller. So I'll swipe over the value for scale and change that to 80% and press return. So it's kind of like a tack effect. I'll go to my graphic style panel and I'll click on the plus to create a new graphic style. From here then, I can use the same tool, the line segment tool, go to the opposite window. And then once I click on the tab at the top to make that window active, I can then click and drag and add other points in there. Again, what I'll have to do is just go back in there and click on that style, but I can add my pins just to the side in there. Nice, straightforward, straight lines in there, like so. If I need to change the size of them, well, I can switch to the selection tool. If I click on this pin here, make sure the path's active. You can hover over the anchors at the end and you can click and drag and you can make them longer, or you can click and drag and change the angle as well. It's possible to do that with either the selection tool or the direct selection tool. With that done, now I'll click away and I'll go up to file and I'll choose save to capture those edits. And then from here, I'll close down the stroke panel and the graphic styles. I'll close down the first window and then I'll go to file and I'll choose close.